I grew up in the hook and line fishery, salmon trolling and halibut longlining. I was spending full summers on the commercial fishing boats since I was eight years old. My favorite part of commercial fishing is when the water's calm, the music's playing in the background, and the fish are coming out of the water. And I love working so hard that you don't know if you're gonna make it through the day and, and falling asleep just completely exhausted. In a competitive fishery, all you could really think about was the competition. You could either make money or not make money. There was no security in our fishery prior to catch shares. It was a gamble to go out. The gun went off, you raced out there and may the best man win. He who catches the most wins. We always had this feeling like it was we better get while the getting's good. And if that meant poor fishing practices, so be it. As we became more proficient at catching fish, the managers realized that they needed to regulate our behavior in some way. All the department could do at the time was shorten the season, as catches exceeded continually the total allowable catch. By 1987, the fishery had gone to such few days now that you had to make your, your annual income from. '87, we had a, I think it was a six day opening and a bad storm came in and I happened to be out on a patrol vessel monitoring the fishery that year uh, during that storm and it was, uh, it was one of the worst that we'd had in decades. They went out anyways. They felt they had to. Small boats found themselves in trouble. We were being asked to perform rescues on every point of the compass. There were too many fishermen chasing too few fish, which became uneconomical and dangerous. I was the manager of the fishery at the time, and everybody, including the uh, department and the industry, realized that there had to be a better way to manage a fishery. Catch share has provided us with a different way to develop a plan. What it meant was, instead of all rushing out for a piece of the pie and fight over it, we decided to divide the pie up individually before we headed out fishing. We knew what we were gonna catch before we left the dock. You know, prior to catch shares, this halibut was worth a fraction of what it is now. Uh, literally, the value of this fish doubled overnight because we're able to, to spread the market out rather than have just those timed openings. The mindset change that happens where now you have an allocation, you treat that allocation almost like something that you have to protect. And the more you protect it, the more value it'll have to use. Because if the resource is healthy, it'll go up, the total allowable yield will go up, and I'll get a larger allocation. Accountability for us is uh, along the lines of a declaration of a promise. We promise to account for every fish that comes over the rail or over the stern. Quite simple, after integration, you're allowed to retain that catch and acquire the quota to cover it. The ability to move fish around so that people can address their various catches individually or as fleets is crucial to the functioning of this particular system. Catch shares by themselves aren't going to guarantee success for a well-managed fishery. You have to properly mix that with uh, monitoring and enforcement, monitoring programs that collect data that's necessary for managing within sustainable harvest levels. You have to have good science. That's the underpinning of any well-managed fishery is good science and the ability to know the health of the resource and set sustainable harvest levels. This is how we age the fish, by taking the rings off of the, the otolith there. We actually collect the age and all this so then we can see for stock assessment from year after year how, how the fishery is doing. 
We started to develop processes then, which included all this data. And we started to realize that we had a say now into changing and improving what we started with. We have the ability to work with management in order to make our fishery better for all involved. We're accountable, we're sustainable, we're responsible, and because of the monitoring in my fishery, I can prove it. A fully integrated fishery with 100% IQ and 100% at-sea monitoring provides the greatest opportunity to have a long-term, sustainable view of each, every individual species that we intercept. First of all, fishing is complicated. It's not that the management system is complicated. The management system is trying to address the complications of fishing. The old system didn't address the complications of fishing very well. The new system, Cat Shares, does address those complications. This is my son, Kyle. He's a fifth generation commercial fisherman. He's grown up with cameras watching the fish coming out of the water and accurate accounting for all species, and this is his normal. Unlike me, who grew up in an industry where we're basically allowed to do whatever we wanted and the regulations kind of were piled on. I'm actually pretty proud that he can, uh, he can get into this industry and be pretty much guaranteed that it's going to be all right for his lifetime and probably the, his children as well. The fishery is absolutely able to support a whole new generation of fishermen for many generations to come.